Yo, what's going on guys? Currently Twisted Fate top lane is a top 10 top laner. It's crazy. On hit, AD is really, really good on him at the moment. Every game you want to start out with an invade. Twisted Fate level one's wild with his stun card spam. And on top of that, with fleet, you can easily escape or chase people with it. You have to decide whether you want to play press attack, fleet, or lethal tempo. As a whole, fleet's win rate is a bit higher and more consistent, but some people do prefer lethal tempo, especially if you plan on running ghost. Your worst matchup when you're playing this pick is to go up against a Wukong or a Pantheon. They can instantly jump to you and they can have tools to soak so much of your damage that you can't really play against it. But playing against slow mobile top lanes like an Alawi, Mordekaiser is pretty ideal. And even playing against something that is semi-mobile like a Renekton or a set with his speed up, you absolutely smash. Twisted Fate's matchup spread as a whole is incredibly healthy, and the champions that counter him top lane are widely considered champions that aren't very meta at the moment. For our runes, we have Fleet. With Overhill, you can go for Presence of Mind, though. Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, with Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. We want to max E first, W second. We're only going to put a point into Q when it forces us to do so. First item rush will be a Bork. Bork is really, really good. Into Kraken Slayer. Third item is pretty much always Rage Blade, because we're playing around our E on hit. And the E attack speed. If we miss a minion, it is what it is. I don't want a TP for just one minion worth of XP. Up against Kel, we'll be able to bully her. People like Twisted Fate and Vayne are doing exceedingly well in the meta. Since uh, there's a lot of immobile melee champions running it right now. Like Alawi, Garen, Mordekaiser. Makes it a great environment to be a Twisted Fate. I'm going to have to red card this wave. She's somewhat perma-autoing it. Push her off. I don't want to miss minions for it though. There's the stun card. Got the fleet heal off of her too. It's pretty good. Boop. Blue card for the win. Ended up missing that one. Whenever our empowered auto's up, if we can, we want to choose to use it against her. We can use our W's and auto reset like you saw there. I autoed in W. Very quickly. Would like to keep her off my cannon. I'm gonna block it. Blocked her Q, it's worth it. Put another point into our E and we're chilling. Her minions aren't really focusing my cannon is the thing. They're not in a big hurry to finish that. So we'll see if we can stop it. She's going to use her empowered auto here, of course. Yeah, so she gets it. It is what it is. We fish her out with the big auto. I don't know why she's trying to fight me here. Hmm. Evelyn's on my head. We get her with stun card. We get her flash. We do have TP, so we'll be all right here. We got Kel flash, Evelyn flash. She ganked me early. She ended up skipping a camp there. She had a late star. I wasn't expecting her to be there that early. Should have bought a control ward. So we know top flash, jungle flash, kind of nine minute mark. This wave's coming to me. I don't really want to go point and cube. If I can stop her recall with it, it's kind of worth it. Because her wave's coming to me right now. She's going to miss a lot of gold and, and XP. She didn't get any gold off my death either, so... She'll be feeling that. I need to thin this out. This is way too many. Really need her to have roughly four more range creeps, not a cannon minion for range creeps. Just empowered auto on a cannon. Walk her down a bit. All right, back into the bush. Auto into Q auto. Got her with our empowered auto there. Just keep slowing the wave down. We're going to ma keep maxing our E. You do not want to max W first or Q first. You only go first point in W for the invade. We stun after her stun. Briar pushes her away. Like I don't get that at all, but... That's rough, is what it is. Kel's gonna reset, she's gonna miss a lot of golden XP. We're gonna have to be satisfied with the gold XP lead. We're probably not gonna be able to get kills on her. 
Once she's six, this matchup's gonna get a lot more challenging, but early game against anyone you got range on TF. Very straightforward matchup. Boop. Hmm, that's unfortunate. We are still getting the XP advantage. Of course, we want to get the last hits as well. We'll fleet speed up off that. Get her the stun card Q auto. She's literally dead here. Get her the stun card Q auto. There it is. She's going to have the flash. I'm not going to let her get me. We get Victor stun card, auto Q auto. I'm soaking the Victor R here. Got the fleet speed up into the stun card Q auto. Briar standing still. She's saving her mouse buttons for next game. Not bad. We did a lot off of our XP gold lead there. Ended up killing Cal, pulled Evelyn, got Victor R, get, got the Victor Thresh. We'll go ahead and generally speaking, you do want to go for Swifties just because they're cheap. And we're going to have so much attack speed anyways. It's going to help us get away from the Pike Cook, the Eve Charm. Kel's level 6 is delayed here. We want to keep delaying that for as long as possible. No flash top. Briar hasn't spent in gold though, so it's going to be hard for her to solo it. For level 4 versus level 4. Jungle item is nothing. It's wasted 450 gold in a solo fight. Kel takes the turret shot, but she's able to crash the wave, which is what she really needed to do. Don't really know where this chick is she might have just reset okay i think i'll just leave the wave where it's at and look to roam these lanes are struggling big time oh it's thresh mid fudge weird you would think this was a normal game tf top with thresh mid tf top's actually good is the difference stun card we auto it out Q auto auto. Nice. Needs to push. She won't be six for a little bit. Hers is really delayed with how she kept getting forced to base. Eve. She should be six around here. Got the stun card in the queue. We'll lock it down. Fleet on. I am tanking the minions here. We got that damage. That damage is the real deal. She's absolutely chunked. Absolutely chunked. Boop. Get another point to E for the on hit. Should have used a uh, blue card there to get my mana back. Oh well. Got it. Hopefully Eve isn't going to be here. Okay, Eve's not here. We get stun card. I see Eve's bot side. Figured she want dragon. I'm going to get her with a flash stun card. Q auto auto. Down she goes. No farm for her. Absolutely not. Got to keep the pressure on, baby. We can carry this game. We have to tempo since uh, they have such good scaling. Eve just took dragon, so I still have time to stay here and brutalize a little bit. We're also fleet healing off the turret. All this is passed through. Auto Q auto. I'm going to R to her if she tries to go through. I don't know. Did she reset? <laughs> I'm confused. I guess she did recall. She was very low to where I could probably set up a kill on her by myself. Auto Q auto. 
Oh, she TP'd. Auto Q auto. And we gotta be happy with that. I don't know where Eve is at this point. I haven't been really paying attention. If she's not boss, she's probably coming top. It's a huge snowball lead we just got. Denying her wave after wave after wave. I just gotta figure out where Evelyn is. Knowing where she's at is kind of important. I'll hit the back minion, try to get Warden Control Bush. Or in Pixel Brush. I was wanting to R on top of her head. She's just sitting underneath turret. Get a ward right here. She should really take those. Walk her down here. I have tier two fast boots for the stun card. Auto Q. I got the Bork application, so it's kind of worth. I can slowly heal this off with uh, my fleets. Fleet. Dorn Blade. I see Evelyn's not over here, so I'll go ahead and crash wave. I think there's a chance she might have backed to spend gold. She doesn't have a whole lot right now. So yeah, look, we're already we're healing back quick. We're gonna get our fleet stack up. Auto Q. That's the Bork application as well. Got our empowered auto ready. Got her with the auto Q. Never our E is ready to be used. We can just look to use it. We can probably stop her back with the Q. Yep. Nope. All right, we stopped this wave. She's not getting any CS, man. We're not letting her. Evelyn should have focused top lane a lot this game. This is a very hard matchup for Kel because we can put her far enough behind before she's six to where even once she is six, she can't trade with us effectively. And that's what you're seeing here. They're going to lose turret to me. First turret gold, our team's losing as a whole. I could probably carry off this. Yeah, it's GG's. That is huge. You need to take these. Whenever you have top prio as a jungler, you want to be taking this type of stuff. We're going to focus the same one. They could get shield if you just let them live for too long. She still gets the XP. I'm not stealing it by taking the last hit. Auto into Q. I think we get some XP too, even if we don't kill it, as long as we're near it. At least that's how it's been. Can we find the stun card? Let's see. No, not really. Okay, we get the speed up off of her from fleet, and we're also on Swifties. It makes it consistent to escape. I've played TF with Berserks, and it doesn't feel as good because it's harder to get away. It's more team reliant, I think, with Berserks. It's harder to go in and just do kind of solo stuff. I'm gonna let this wave keep coming to me. I'll leave it with the minion advantage. All right, we're going to Cal. We get her with the, <laughs> I try to get her with the auto. Pike's coming over here. I'll try to take this. Auto queue auto. Uh, I can't get it. I just got to leave it. Pike's already on his way. Kel, do you see the fact that she's pushing up? It's almost a guaranteed. Yeah, Pike's here. Red card of destiny. He just two-shotted my award. That's gross. Because he's got that item for it. We need dragon and... Harold, I don't understand. I'm not taking those right now for some reason. Briar's doing a dive. I think Kel's kind of rage trolling a bit. I think she's upset with her team because she feels like they let her down. It's fine by me. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm starting to see that overheal come into play a little bit. We have more than full health right now.
a little more well we were full health for a little bit mainly through the fleet heal she is so far behind in gold next Pete level 70 is my level 10 since two of the enemies were dead that's why I'm trying to look to take an objective here and we got it nice <clears throat> We could take this mid. Varus is backing. Wait, what, where's that guy going? He's just going to lay a ward. Auto Q auto. Actually, don't mind. Blue card does do more damage. Since we don't have much AP, we might as well just do yellows and reds unless we need the mana back. I don't really need the mana back at this point. Hey, Kel. She's not going to fight me here. She knows better. Powered auto into the cannon. Not sure where Pike's at, so. Okay, I see where he is now. Since I know where they're at, I'm okay with bowling her now. We get the speed up off of it. Some void mites. Try to hit her with the Q. Let's get her with the Bork auto there. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> the red buff burnt. Kept the turret hitting me. Auto Q. We'll just slide right into it. We'll get the shield as we jump back. Get all those juicy void mites. Flash auto into Q. Auto. Ooh. Got a red buff burn on her. It's apparently didn't wasn't enough to finish her, surprisingly. I assume she's going all the way to Fallon, so I'm not gonna bother Ring for that. I'm kinda tempted to go for Victor though. You know, stun card auto Q. Take the lantern back. She misses R. Sweet. That's huge. We do kill her. It's not worth though. We burned two flashes for someone who already kind of needed a reset against us. We should take drag. I can heal off it really fast. D-blade healing. Bork healing. And fleet healing. We shall take it. Can take it really fast. Me and Briar shred hard. So auto on the vein, Q on the pike. Oh, I got me with the stun. That's sad. Vein did die though. That's awesome. I got an assist for that too. I can't even help with this. Auto Q auto. Do as much damage as I could do. Put a stun card on his head. Down he goes. Someone was right there. We get him with an auto, which is a speed up. Two, three. I don't think Evelyn has flash. Guess we'll find out. I want to reset here, so I'll pop plant. Look to use TP. It's silly for us to still be up here. It's all risk, very low reward. Kraken. I was sitting on so much gold. It's outrageous. There's really nothing for me to TP to here. Let's go to reward. Oh, Thresh got a kill. Our AP Thresh mid is actually popping off a bit. Stun card auto Q. Trying to push wave before she gets rooted. Stun card auto Q. Then we walk away. Because I'm fast. All these void mites, man. Gotta stay together here. Skadoosh. Get the fleet speed up. I assume Evelyn's behind us at this point. I had to guess. Okay, she's not. Oof, got with the stun auto. Down she goes. I'm a very high health, so good luck to Pike on that one. Oh, he got killed by Ignite. Not bad. I'm trying to heal up. His R is <laughs> auto locked to me.
get the stun card. Kel R is such a funny ability. Alright, Thresh finishes her off. I was hoping he'd use this flake quickly because I really needed it. Got some mana back. I don't feel like staying though. I'm pretty low. I have a fat shutdown on my head. We have to get all the dragons if we're going to win this game or just try to end early. They scale super hard. I don't think AP Thresh and rank scales. I'm assuming it doesn't. I don't think uh, that Varus build scales with Arcane Comet. I've seen how this fire Briar player, so I'm going to say she doesn't scale. A very bad scaling. I wasn't even trying to press R. I was literally itching my face. Itching my face, man. I outplayed myself. Get with the stun card. Auto Q auto. Got him. Got freaking destroyed. He's so squishy. <laughs> Dragon's not up for a while. Should probably take Baron. Do I get it with my Q? Oh, I did get it with Q. Sick. Wow, that hurt. Why does it feel like Evelyn's here? Okay, she's not even here. Got my stun card ready. She doesn't even have Condemn. Auto Q. Yeah, Briar players use E too much. If you're not damage reductioning and if you you can't guarantee land it, there's no reason to really use it. You're, you're, instead of autoing, get up down stun card and the Q auto auto auto. Boof, boof. We're gonna throw out a card immediately. Just double tap W. Hope it's a yellow card. If it's not, it's still whatever. It's an auto reset. I should have stunned her. That was a mistake on my part. She at least flashed. Go ahead and blue card for this. Oof. Go! <laughs> oh man, I wasn't expecting that. Neither was she. That's awesome. Eve's about to be up. I don't want to steal that. Not sure what these guys think they're doing. Oof, what is Briar doing here? We get the stun card. Down she goes. Good job to the Thresh. Briar's gonna die with what she did. She went super deep into their turrets. I'm gonna blue card get my mana back. Down goes their turret. And we will keep getting some mana back. I'll bait it for Thresh. Yeah, they don't even... Huh. These guys are weird. Like, they know he's there. It must be warded. Oh, uh, there's a ward right there. I think he's about to walk into us here. Yeah, he's right here. This is free. Stun card into Q. Auto, auto, auto. Take the lantern back. My stun card's on cooldown. I don't want to fight someone like Cal. Vayne is problematic, though. We got to watch out for her. Boof, boof. Ooh, let's get it. Get the stun card. Auto, Q, auto. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This damage output is ridiculous. Wait, where'd this guy go? I don't know. This is so much fun, man. This is just dumb. The damage output. They don't have anyone to tank it either. All squishies. A little bit of mana back. With all these void mites are going to rip through the turret. There's the stun card. Down you go. 
Got two autos on his head and he lost half his health. Stun card auto Q auto. There it is. Poor Kel, man. She got brutalized. She needed Eve to camp that lane to balance it out for the first five levels. It's hard to do to for Eve to justify. Kel's terrible to gank for. She's got such a weak follow-up. Got the stun card. We'll take it. You see, there's not much difference between damage between stun card, blue, and red if you're playing AD. When you're playing AP, there's a huge difference. Alright, uh, gotta get away from that. Oh, I'm dead here. Well, maybe not. Got a ward down. Ugh, alright, yeah, I'm just gonna keep running. I don't like that situation. If I die, they get a thousand gold. Thresh keeps disconnecting on repeat. Looks like when someone gets DDoS, it's just in and out, 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 non-stop. Got a dragon coming up soon. We're sitting on 7k gold, man. What the heck? I wouldn't mind getting tanky. Terminus is good for that at this stage. I don't... Oh, wait. Can you go? So, apparently, you can have crit with infinite with uh, Rage Blade now. Nice. I don't mind having a Rage Blade. Or, yeah. Or, I don't mind having an Infinity Edge. I think we could justify Shield Bow. We could justify Bloodthirster, Infinity Edge, Runons. You just wouldn't want to build AP at this point. If I needed Armor Penetration, I would go uh, Terminus, which I have. It's Armor and Magic Penetration because the Eon hits Magic Damage. And Gunzus has some magic damage. And Terminus itself has magic damage. Meanwhile, the Bork and Kraken are physical, and the bulk of my auto damage is physical. Hey, Vayne. Stun card, Q auto auto. <clears throat> Down he goes. <laughs> they die in like two autos. Holy crap. May not even be. I think using Q as an auto reset still kind of worth it. Just be careful not to cancel an auto to use the Q. It definitely won't be worth it in that case. Got the stuns. GG's. We'll take it. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. I like how she typed jungle diff. That's hilarious. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, I'm pretty happy with that. For damage taken, not bad. And for self mitigated. Not bad either. For runes, high value. All in all, top lane TF, really good with Presti Attack, Fleet, or Lethal Tempo. Just figure out which one works best for you. I find Fleet Footwork with Swifties is by far the most consistent in the vast majority of situations. If you guys enjoyed this Twisted Fate video, let me know what champion you want to see next down in the comments below. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.